Greenland is almost completely covered by a huge ice sheet, which is one of the coldest, windiest, and bleakest places on the planet. Yet this story begins somewhere with palm trees, golden beaches, and a lovely, warm ocean. I'm talking about the Caribbean. Now, if you went for a swim in the Caribbean, and you spent just a little bit too long in the lovely, warm ocean, you might find yourself swept across the North Atlantic on the Gulf Stream, and taking the left branch just south of Iceland, you'd meet the southeast coast of Greenland. Now, in Greenland, ice flows, kind of like golden syrup, from the centre to the edge of the ice sheet. The particularly fast-moving parts are shown on this map in the cooler colours and are where the ice sheet edge is in contact with the ocean. So we have warm water from the Caribbean in contact with cold ice from the centre of the ice sheet. And what happens when the two meet is the subject of my research. So let's be less serious for a moment and imagine that you're in the pub, perhaps just over the road. You order a drink with ice in it. How quickly will the ice melt? Well, the ice will clearly last longer in a cold Coke than in a hot cup of coffee. But let's further imagine that the person you're at the pub with is just mind-blowingly dull, and you absent-mindedly stir your drink to pass the time. Well, this will also make the ice melt faster, because the relative motion of the ice and the water transfers heat more quickly. So in my research, I use computer models to study the motion and the temperature of the ocean at the edge of the ice sheet to try to estimate how much the ocean melts the ice. And it turns out that the two factors present in your pub drink, that is heat and motion, also occur around the coast of Greenland, causing the ice to melt. So what's the big picture? Well, current estimates suggest that we'll see as much as one metre of sea level rise by the end of this century. Some of the largest uncertainties on this estimate are related to poor understanding of how much the ocean melts the Greenland ice sheet. And therefore, the ultimate aim of my PhD is to make a contribution to narrowing these error bars. From a student's perspective, it is highly convenient that processes you can observe in the pub might help you narrow the range of uncertainty on Greenland's future contribution to global sea level rise, and that is something which will be of great value to a warming planet. Thank you.